Okay, today's little demonstration will address the burning question on how to resize a pattern and get it to where you can print it in tile format. The most easiest way without paying for a subscription or confusion, uh, all the above, is a free online resource from Poster Razor. Uh, the uh, the web application is very simple. What we want to do is uh, take an image, um, JPEG, and size it so you can print it on multiple pages. Here we have the open web browser with uh, poster razor on it what you want to do is go into settings depending on whether you want inches centimeters millimeters feet we're going to do inches okay and then you uh, you can load an uh, imp image here or put it here You'll load an image click on that I'm just going to grab one that would be a, a tiled issue. Uh, like say you have a pattern that's 8 by 10, you want to make it 12 by 16, uh, which naturally would not fit on one sheet of paper. Uh, let me pick one out that, oh, here we go. I'm going to go into the diamonds, we're going to take a clean black and white image you're going to import it and with this is uh, one of my patterns on an eight and a half by eleven it's showing it's four and a half by nine so say you want to make it uh, 15 or what have you uh, or double the size you can, you can do the math but for most uh, intense purposes I'm going to show how to double it so this will be instead of 9 it'll be 18 it'll be 9 by 18 okay so we loaded the image you go down to next you want to have standard layout which is basically this it's not landscape which will give you that Sometimes you have to switch back and forth if you want it a little wider in pages or taller. But for ease of use, just leave it in the portrait. Uh, these borders are the amount of margin for overlapping and taping or cutting your patterns together. And, uh, you, you know, your tiled pages will allow you to do that line up with this margin here. So by default, it's 0.59. I don't know how they came up with 0.59 but it's fine you can make it a half you could you know just go 0.5 see how it shortens up the margin here you could save on some paper 0 0.5 0 0.5 my guess is being this is a, a company that is European they have this formatting in millimeters uh, with the translation in inches it goes to 59.59 we're gonna go ahead and just make it a half inch simple you go next and you have an overlapping feature uh, which is fine that's what you want you want your overlapping to be consistent all around in case it's a four page which I'll demonstrate as well um, but right now we're just going to do a, a double size you know, next now this is showing a four page with that overlapping this is actually going to be uh, two pages wide by 1.7387 <laughs> we don't need that so what we want to do is to absolute this is saying 14 is going to be basically two page widths 
um, which will make make it kind of like a guess of what you want to do. Being this is four and a half by nine, you want to go to percentage. Go one fifty. Why is that doing that? Alright. <laughs> I think I'm screwing up. Let's go absolute. Here we go. 17. No. Let's try this. 22. Eighteen. Two. Oh, I see. Uh, I don't use this much because I don't really need it, but it is handy. Uh, let's go change that to. Actually, that might be it. So we got nine. Yeah, it's probably it. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, I think it's it's recognizing what I want to enlarge as 14 high oh I see because four and a half wouldn't fit on the width makes sense so going double the size it's going to need four pages so we're going to go next and you can save the poster hit it it's going to show it's saved it goes right to your downloads folder uh, instead of opening up your downloads folder you can go ahead and click on that and it's going to show you the instant PDF file created which you can now print save do whatever you want to do with uh, they got the print logo right here basically that's pretty straightforward uh, you want to go ahead and hit the back button or we'll hit the back right here We're going to say absolute size, we're going to go 10, 12, that would be 6, 12, yeah, it, it's actually giving me the size of the pattern, so 10 by 12 would be on 4 pages, alright, um, you could do that, hit the next, if it's too big, too small, uh, save it again, it's going to give it a a uh, number one after it because you have a a duplicate uh, document with that same name so it's going to give me one these files are going to be located in, in your download folder you can see it, uh, it's there or you can just print it as you need it you could save it once you go into your downloads folder and do more with it but for this purpose I'm going to show you how to just tile print a standard JPEG black and white image. I'll do a little bit more on this. I'm going to pause the video and get back. Okay, back to the pattern. Once you have this saved in poster razor, uh, instead of opening the download as a separate uh, I say motion it, it'll it'll open up Acrobat Reader uh, I find Acrobat to be extremely intrusive and loaded with pop-ups and gimmicks and sign up now and pay me now no need for that all you do is in Chrome you hit downloads you see I have two one actually it did two others other than the first so I'm gonna open up the uh, the original inside the Chrome browser it'll show you the PDF okay nice and clean gives you all you need without the gimmicks of Acrobat I don't want to put them down it's a great company but you know you you load Acrobat and if you if you've done it you know what I'm talking about how it really gets in your face 
So what I just did is I changed by default for some it was set to 110 probably from a pest setting. I'm going to change that to 100%. Okay, that's going to give me my pattern. And we'll go ahead and hit the print. Let's see. You got more actions. I'm going to do the print. It's going to show you a print preview. So when you tape these together, everything's going to line up. So you choose your printer, all pages, one copy, pages size, per sheet scale. We're going to go uh, default. That's a hundred percent. And hit the print button. and the printer starts printing. This is going to be four pages. I don't have a camera showing the pages, but you could trust me on that. Just print them up. You know, lay them out. You can trim the, the pages to the uh, edge of the pattern, or you could simply fold over where the the end meets, tape them together, and you'll have a full scale uh, pattern sized up. I believe we went uh, double the size, so it's going to be 18 inches tall by 9 inches wide. Pretty much that's it. And again, it's a uh, poster razor. You, you go, you could go back, you, you can basically do anything. You, you can make this pattern 10 feet tall if you want. I'll, I'll do a quick show about that. Let's see. We said tall, right? So, what's that? 120 inches? 120 inches. So this is all the pages. 169 pages it'll print out on. Nobody's making this 10 feet tall, but if you wanted to, you could. 20 that's 20 inches uh, you know 24 would be what is that two feet on nine pages most likely you're gonna print one up go for the the smaller option the smaller page option try it out see if it works for you and if it does you have a resource for free online tile printing. They don't charge. This is a, a source forge. It's an open resource and uh, they have a, a lot of people working on the software. You'll find other software through this uh, organization. They uh, they really do well with that. Uh, I mean there's one app I use is SeaMonkey. It's, it's a web tool design. It, really does everything you want without all the the bells and whistles and uh, well the cost it's free so uh, look into that I'm gonna try to do a little bit more on, on pattern resizing and get a little bit more detailed but for now that's it uh, please again like and and subscribe to my channel I appreciate it very much any questions just shoot it down in the little comment area below and I'll be sure to answer you as soon as I can. Thank you very much.